Yo, what's up guys? Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Also, sorry for the wind, it's hella windy right now, so we're working with that. I'm gonna make a little update on the LXR today. I haven't done anything really since the last video, except for sort of drifting, and I'll try and chuck some clips in now, so. So I kind of go over what my kind of plans are for the MX-5 now, sort of give you an idea of what I actually want to do. Um, it's pretty cool, it's going to be good. A lot of people are going to think it's a bit weird the way I'm going about it, and it's easier to do it another way, but we'll get into that later on in the video. But right now, I'm going to go get some spicy shots of the car because we got a bit of a sunset going on. I want to see if I can get some shots. Who knows? I'm going to go to a little spot, see what we can do. Uh, as usual, I'm really low on fuel, so let's just go to the spot, get some shots and go from there and try and ignore the wind. I've also got a new sort of camera setup, so hopefully I'm just looking a little bit fresh, but let's go get some shots. All right, so I made it to somewhere that's pretty rough, but the wind's real heavy right now. I don't know if you can tell, because my hair fly around in the wind, but it's, uh, it's not the greatest viewpoint, but we'll get some shots, we'll see how it goes. actually get some fuel in this thing now. It's still shining empty, but there's fuel. Got people trying to get around me. I'm blocking everyone. But yeah, we, uh, we got fuel. Recently, I decided I want to like turbo the car, and I was going through different ideas, and then I wanted to like do the BMW engine, which is what Mark's done. Um, if you don't follow, if you manage me out, where we show, if you don't know, why well, don't you know? Um, but I wanted to do an engine swap in the end, and I kind of got a weird route. A lot of people do an SR20, but I've gone for a C18 DET um, engine, which is the early earlier S13 engine, 1.8 turbo. A lot of people say they're good, bad, whatever. Unless he's really weird, I'm gonna be putting it in here, but it's just it's just a lot easier for me. Like I managed to get an engine and 
decent enough price, I guess, but you know, we're working with it, so it should fit, probably. Mark's gonna be the man behind that. I don't know how to wire it up yet. I've been watching videos and stuff, and it kind of makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I'll show you what we're working with now, anyway. So obviously, that's the standard MX engine bay, it's a little 1.6 for me the whole setup and whatnot. Um, obviously, we're gonna be putting a CA in here. It's gonna to have to sit a little bit further back. It should be okay. I'm sure it'll fit good. Um, and we should be sound, but uh, right now, yeah, we gotta appreciate it. It's a good looking shit box right there, I'll tell you that. Also, we got some fresh little wheel marks off Mark and uh, these wheels I redid in the last video. Is it this wheel? It might be the other one, I don't know. All of that like marking right there, that was Mark, like, you know, we had in a tandem. I don't know, we were just like out of track and we were just skidding and he like curved the inside of my wheel with his wheel, so that didn't last very long. They looked good for the time being, but yeah. But yeah, that's kind of my plans with the car now is to get the CA18 in there. I've got a bunch of parts for it. And the reason like it makes sense for me is like, it costs like, for, to make good power into NMX, it does cost a lot of money. I know everyone says you can do it cheaper and whatnot. But it costs a lot of money to do. With a CA, it already comes good. I've got to change a couple of little bits and I'm good to go. I'm going to be doing that. And then we can make some proper good power. So that's the main reason behind this whole thing. It's a small video. I'm running out of charge on my phone, but I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. Doing the CA swap, pretty do some new videos like in between then, because I've got to get loads of bits sorted. Maybe I'll film the process and sort the engine out. But that's the plan anyway, and it should look sick. Hopefully the new camera looks good too, because I've got a new phone, which has got a better camera on it. And hopefully everything looks good. I probably butchered the little cinematic shot, but fingers crossed it's come out good. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of today's video. Hopefully, in the next one, we can make some progress with the swap or whatever. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.